Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school i am teacher hartung and our theme for this week is saving energy and revision now boys and girls before we start with our lesson let's remember to sanitize now let's make sure we put enough sanitizer on our hands and then we make sure we rub it in well now let's see what today's lesson is all about Today we'll do reading comprehension, computation, and a crossword puzzle. Let's start our lesson on page 17. Now here we have a reading comprehension. And the heading of this re reading comprehension is, Who will light the earth? Let's read. Sky had three children whose names were Sun, Star, and Moon. One day, Sky asked her children which one would look after Earth when she died. Me! shouted all three at the same time. I am the brightest, and I shine the brightest, said Sun. I will make sure that there is light all day. I am the brightest, said Star. I will light the way at night. I shine the brightest at night, argued Moon. I will make sure that people and animals can see at night. Sky took a deep breath and said, You each have your own gift to share. You must work together to take care of Earth. Sun will give light during the day and star and moon will give light at night. The three children were very happy to hear they will all work together and look after Earth. Now boys and girls, let's look at the questions. Question 1. What is mother's name? Number 2. How will the children work together? Number three, if you could be one of Sky's children, who would you be and why? Number four, what else can Sun do apart from giving light during the day? Number five, name one more thing you can see in the sky. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Now let's start this part of the lesson on page 18. Now here we are doing computation. Here it says do the following calculations. Now there you will see you have addition, subtraction and multiplication sums. Now I'm going to do the first of each of these sums with you. 
Now on the board, we are going to start with the first one, which is our addition sum. All right, now this one says 154 plus 238. Now here, we are just adding our numbers together. Now remember everyone, we start over here with our units. So we say 4 plus 8. How much is 4 plus 8? It's 12. So we write the units and we carry over our tens. And now we say 5 plus 3. How much is 5 plus 3? That's 8. And then we add that one and that gives us 9. And then our hundreds, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, boys and girls. There you see our answer for the first sum is 392. That is your addition sum. Let's try the subtraction sum together. Now here we have 282 minus 139. Once again, we start with our units. We say 2 minus 9. Can we minus 2? From, or 9 from 2? No, we can't because 9 is more or bigger than 2. So what do we do now? We must now go ahead and borrow from number 8. So we borrow 1 and then we have 7 left over. All right. Now we say 12 minus 9 and 12 minus 9 is equal to 3. And then we say 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 and 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. And there we have it boys and girls. Our answer for this sum is 143. And that is how you do your subtraction sums. Let's do the multiplication sum. Here we have 43 times 4. Once again, as usual, boys and girls, we start with our units first. So we say 3 times 4. How much is 3 times 4? It's 12. Now we write down our units and we carry over the tens. So, 12, then we say 4 times 4. How much is 4 times 4? Let's see. 4, 8, 12, 16. See how we counted in 4s there. Right. So, 4 times 4 is equal to 16. But everyone, we shouldn't forget this one. So 16 plus 1 is equal to 17. And there we have it everyone. Our uh, answer for this sum is 172. So we say 43 times 4 equals 172. Now you need to go ahead and do all the other addition, subtraction and multiplication sums all on your own boys and girls now i know you will know exactly what to do but before i leave you to continue with your sums let's quickly turn our booklets to page 19 and see what we have to do there now here it says we are doing time and we have to complete a crossword puzzle now here it says that you have to read the clues below and complete the crossword. Now, when you look at the crossword, boys and girls, you will see that there are different numbers in different blocks. Now, each number will match the clues below. Now, let's look at the clues. Now, in the first column of the table, you will see all the clues for all the parts going down and on the other side on the right hand side of the page there you have all the clues going across and then you also have the numbers of the clues which will match the number in your crossword right now the numbers that we i want us to do together is number one down let's quickly read 
number one down. Number one down reads, it says, there are how many days in a full week? Can you tell me how many days we have in one full week, boys and girls? That's right, everyone. It's seven. Now, before we complete the crossword, I want us to quickly have a look at the next clue, which is number four across. Number four across reads, there are blank space, a half hours in six hours. Now here we can think about one hour. How many half hours do we have in one hour? We have two. Now how many half hours will we have in six hours? Now if you said 12 boys and girls, you are absolutely correct. Now you must now go ahead and write in the word 12. Now let's quickly have a look on the board how you must go ahead writing in all these words. Now remember everyone, the answer for clue number one down was seven. Can you see here on the board? So this clue number one, it must be completed downwards. All right. So here we have the word seven. Now remember everyone, all these blocks are just enough for the right word. So if your words don't fit, then you must go back and read the clue again to see if it is the right answer. And then you remember what our answer was for clue four across? It was 12. Now can you see here we wrote in the word 12 at number four across. See here all your clues will go down and here the clues will go across the page. All right. Now you will see here we filled in number six across and number six down. So let's quickly go back to the booklet and read these clues. Now in the booklet these clues are remember six across. It says after 12 o'clock today it is afternoon. All right now let's see quickly on the board do we have the answer afternoon at clue six across. Now if we look on the board let's see here we have number six across afternoon. That's right everyone and it fits perfectly in all the spaces. All right. Now while we are here, if you look at your booklets one last time you will see clue six down reads, this is the abbreviation for morning. Right. Now normally when it's morning time we say we or we call it a.m. Now let's see on the board for our clue at number six down it fits as a.m. All right now everyone you need to go ahead and read through all the other clues. Now please make sure whether the clue goes across or whether the clue goes down and then you must go ahead fill in the entire crossword. Now everyone, I'm going to leave you to finish all these activities. Now remember to have fun. I will see you after this ad break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. We came to the end of today's lesson, boys and girls. Now, before we go home, we need to sanitize. 
Now let's make sure we put enough sanitizer on our hands so that we make sure our hands are nice and clean. Now everyone, I invited my friend Soshi to come along and say goodbye with me. So will you help me call Soshi? Soshi! Soshi, where are you? Oh, hi Soshi, there you are. Will you help me say goodbye to our friends today? Now, boys and girls, I hope you will have lots and lots of fun finishing your activities. Until we see each other again next time, goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mir Cat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.